my name is vishnu gopal tv i am a legal intern at lexus and company i am from cooperative school of law todupura kerala i am a third year student uh, pursuing bba llb arms today's topic for this video is medical termination of proper uh, this uh, pregnancy the purpose of this video is to analyze about the medical termination of pregnancy so india we all know has legalized this uh, abortions the year in which the abortions were legalized was 1971 The Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 1971 that is MTP Act was passed in uh, we all know that is in 1971 so the act was passed because during the time when safe abortions were possible uh, possibly conducted in this medical field later medical termination of pregnancy amendment act 2021 came which was um, which amended this MTP Act of 1971 we know that the new bill was introduced in lok sabha on 2nd march 2020 and it was passed on 17th march 2020 after that the rajya sabha passed the bill on uh, 16th uh, that is 16th march um, 2021 so it awaits that is a pre- presently um, and it was passed uh, or it got the uh, assent of the president and the bill is here uh, now passed and here the, therefore there is a need to analyze about the new medical termination of pregnancy amendment act 2021 so the large number of writs were filed in supreme court and in various courts around the country by women activists to seek permission in aborting a child after 20 weeks of pregnancy for rape victims or for fetal abnormalities but specialists in the field of gynecology say that abortion uh, which has been done after 20 weeks of pregnancy is not legal and it cannot be allowed to be done under mtp act 1971 so uh, such a complication will be avoided by the passing of a new bill that is ntp amendment bill 2020 that is a new act so that means this issue uh, will be solved by the new bill and the new bill of 2020 was made after repeated and continuous consultation uh, with the non profit organizations as well as the associations of gynecologists and the indian medical association the amendment uh, has given a respect to women who are rape survivors differently able minors uh, victims of incest etc so uh, bombay high court in bombay high court a petition was filed by nikita mehta uh, in which it was being held that the termination of pregnancy or abortion cannot be done for a 24 week old fetus so the supreme court have clearly specified that it can be affirmed the case pointed out the need of rechecking the laws regarding the abortions in india so the new bill regulate the pregnancy by aiming at the increasing the time limit for an abortion before the coming of this amendment that is a new amendment abortion undertaken within 12 weeks of conception required the opinion of a doctor and when done between 12 to 20 weeks required opinions of two doctors The MTP Act 1971 does not have any provision uh, for abortion after a period of 20 weeks. So the bill, this new one, that is new act, this bill gives a relief by permitting termination of pregnancy after 24 weeks after the approval of the medical board on diagnosis of this uh, fetal abnormalities. so having said that in case of rape at seeing 24 weeks of pregnancy only recourse left was to approach the courts through a repetition the bill mentions or uh, this a new act in that it is mentioned that the woman and her partner instead of a married woman and her husband showing open mindedness to the uh, of the society the central government acknowledges the failure of contraception as well so it further gives relief to women undergoing stress of getting permission from various courts due to pressing time factor in pregnancy 
so another important thing about our country is that india is the first country to give paid leave for mothers for the pregnancy due to miscarriage or stillbirth followed by new zealand in 2021 you can so that's all about this topic so you can like subscribe and comment on my topic on this video so uh, and do like and subscribe our youtube channel let's click please give me a feedback of this video and if you have any questions relating to this topic you may please comment that in the comment box i will be replying as soon as possible this video does not solicit any type of promotion or advertisement as per the guidelines of uh, bar council of india and the sole purpose of this video is for educational purposes only by saying these words i am concluding thank you